Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe before watching today's video. While the Dutch government was still dreaming of acquiring Nixperia, Chinese companies had already launched a new round of countermeasures. From the moment Wingtech Technology built its domestic wafer supply chain, the fate of Nixperia's headquarters, held by the Netherlands, was sealed. Honda's production lines in China came to a standstill, and its lines in Japan followed suit. The global automotive chip supply chain was about to witness this absurd scene, initiated by the Netherlands, that ultimately shot itself in the foot. Let's rewind to September 30, 2025. The Dutch government suddenly invoked a wartime law it had never used before. The day after the US enacted its penetration rule, it swiftly took over Nixperia's Dutch headquarters under the pretext of national security. Freezing equity, placing operations under trusteeship, and suspending the Chinese CEO, this series of moves was swift and ruthless. Wingtech Technology, the Chinese company, didn't even have time to react before losing actual control of Nixperia's Dutch headquarters. This tactic, frankly, was blatant robbery. Wingtech acquired Nixperia for a hefty $3.3 billion, a legal and compliant transaction. Faced with the Netherlands' robber-like actions, China quickly took a series of countermeasures, including cutting off chip supplies, issuing an official response, and actively urging the Netherlands to resolve the issue. However, the Dutch court's ruling remains in effect, only suspended. The Netherlands' calculations were clear. As long as Chinese companies didn't exert further pressure, they could effectively control Nixperia. Further pressure would simply mean returning actual control, with no real loss to the Netherlands. What the Netherlands didn't anticipate was that China began using more reasonable means to protect the company's rights. Reports indicate that China is considering legal action, demanding compensation from the Dutch government. What does $8 billion represent? It's roughly more than double the price Wingtech paid for the acquisition. This figure includes not only direct economic losses, but also damage to brand value, the collateral effects of supply chain disruptions, and the loss of future expected profits. To be honest, this claim amount is not excessive at all. As for whether the other party will pay, China currently has many means at its disposal. For example, it can screen out entities that are extremely unfriendly to China and take reciprocal countermeasures, exert pressure through other means, etc. In any case, the release of this news sends a clear signal to the outside world. That is, China will no longer tolerate such blatant robbery. Anyone who dares to touch the overseas assets of Chinese companies will have to think twice about the consequences. The trillions of dollars invested by Chinese companies overseas will never become a hunting ground for the pirates of the new century. In addition, Wingtech Technology has also made worst-case scenario preparations, accelerating the construction of a domestic supply chain to retaliate against the Netherlands' robbery. At the end of October, Nexperia China began intensively contacting domestic wafer manufacturers. In November, it signed an agreement with Shanghai Dingtai Jiangshan Technology to secure a stable supply of 30,000 12-inch automotive-grade IGBT wafers per month. Simultaneously, Nexperia China collaborated with two 8-inch wafer foundries, GAT Semiconductor, and Chiplink Integrated Circuits, to jointly promote and build an alternative supply chain. On December 19, Nexperia China directly notified its distributors nationwide. Starting next year, all IGBT chips will be manufactured by domestic suppliers. This statement, delivered casually, carries a very strong underlying meaning. Nexperia's Dutch headquarters cutting off wafer supply. Sorry, from now on, China will manufacture them itself. Within three months, the entire process, 
from technical certification to capacity expansion, will be completed. This effectively renders the so-called Nexperia headquarters, controlled by the Netherlands, a mere shell company. With or without it, Nexperia China can still produce and sell automotive-grade chips. In fact, at least seven forces are intertwined in this Nexperia semiconductor incident. The Dutch government, the Chinese government, Nexperia Netherlands, Nexperia China Wingtech, the EU, the US, and the global automotive industry. Everyone has their own interests to consider. Therefore, how to weigh the implications of this event, predict and analyze its future direction, and formulate corresponding countermeasures, is a severe test of a country's response capabilities. China's priority is to safeguard the legitimate rights and interests of its enterprises and protect the security of its overseas investments. The EU is divided on this issue. The German auto industry relies on Nexperia chips, and France might be pleased to see China suffer a setback. As for the global auto industry, they just want to quietly build cars, they'll retaliate against anyone who challenges them. The most awkward position in this situation is probably held by the Dutch government itself. The Netherlands doesn't have an automotive industry, so a supply disruption from Nexperia wouldn't significantly impact its domestic market. However, it would directly affect the European automotive supply chain, and the internal divisions within Europe become a force for China to exploit. As for the US, while it might be pleased to see the Netherlands sever ties with China over the Nexperia incident, it is also constrained by the supply of related chips and must find viable solutions. Currently, Wingtech Technologies' move is a crucial step in stabilizing the global supply chain. Building a domestic supply chain means that Nexperia China will have the capability to independently produce automotive-grade IGBT chips in the future, which is also the most effective countermeasure against the Netherlands' hegemonic behavior. China's preparation to demand $8 billion in compensation is a blatant attempt to force a response from the other side. If the Netherlands simply says no, even with a series of fabricated reasons, it could be a crucial factor in China's efforts to expedite the handling of the matter. Currently, the Netherlands' refusal to comment on the Nexperia semiconductor issue is an attempt to use delaying tactics to solidify Dutch control of Nexperia into a fait accompli. China's use of compensation claims to force a response can be seen as a textbook example of countermeasures. What are your thoughts on this? Feel free to leave a comment and discuss.